What's going on everyone? Jay Cook here from Franklin Lakes. Ramapo and West Essex are two of the most successful public schools in the Super Football Conference. And it's hard to believe they've never met until tonight here in Bergen County. First quarter, West Essex in great position. Fourth and one at the Ramapo 15. They go for it, but Ramapo makes a stop. Dylan Snee in there for the tackle. It's a turnover on downs. And we're scoreless after the first quarter. Second quarter, the Knights are driving, looking for a big play. Robert Lasher floats one up to the goal line. The pass incomplete, but there's a flag on the play. Christian Weatrack flagged for pass interference. The Ramapo sideline disagrees, but it does give West Essex another chance on this drive. Five plays later, Lasher again on the designed rollout. This time, the pass complete. Stefan Lopez hauls it in from 14 yards out on fourth and nine. West Essex jumps out to a 6-0 lead after a failed extra point. Ramapo back on offense. They go down the field. Ethan Moran churning up. He picks up 13 yards and a first down into Knights territory. Then it's Jack Grusser, the Bergen Catholic transfer who throws his first career touchdown for the Raiders. It's a 22-yard strike to Benny Robinson. Five minutes left in the half, and Poe has a 7-6 lead. The Raiders put together one last drive with time winding down in the first half. Ball at the 32, under 30 seconds left. Russer takes the snap, and check this out. Chris Corbo says, yeah, I'll take that. West Essex's top player comes up with a physical interception. That pick ends the first half, and the Knights still trail 7-6. Grusser had early jitters, but he got over them in the second half. Here he finds Will Scordato as a first down to the 15-yard line. And that play would set up this. Grusser from the shotgun, working the RPO, nothing downfield, and he shows off his wheels. Touchdown, Ramapo. Grusser dives in from 15 yards out. Ramapo leads 14-6 through three full quarters. And in the fourth quarter, Jack Grusser showed the crowd in Franklin Lakes what he's capable of. This is a beautiful bowl, right in stride. Benny Robinson scores the touchdown. 63 yards on the pitch and catch. 9.34 left in the game. And Ramapo leads 21-6 on West Essex. And although they're up by 15 points, the Raiders don't take their foot off the gas. Grusser, another deep shot. This time hauled in by Robbie Travers. 45 yards down the far sideline to put them back in the red zone. And that drive is capped off with Grusser's fourth touchdown of the night. He connects with Isaiah Savitt on a six-yard slant. With under six minutes to play, it's now 28-6. The offense rolled and the Raiders' defense was just as good all night. The pressure was there and Ramapo closes it out with a turnover. Nick Cafaro holds in a diving INT. With under two minutes left, that's the proverbial nail in the coffin. Ramapo kicks off the Jack Grusser era with a dominant win. 28-6 is the final. Grusser was so efficient all evening long, evidenced by that 14 for 18 stat line. He got over those early jitters and secured Ramapo's first win of the year. Uh, definitely had some butterflies in the beginning, you know. I had to stay calm, cool, collected. You know, as a team, we all kind of came out with a little butterflies, but as we got through uh, going through the game, we just got better and better. No, yeah, it was Jack's first game. We all had the jitters. A lot of uh, young talent on this team. It's a junior-based team. So the first, the first half was a little, a little rocky for us, but when we came back out of here, the butterflies were away, and we just did our thing. Reporting from Franklin Lakes, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.